The following video includes open wounds and cuts if you have a weak stomach or don't like seeing blood. I would advise not to watch this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I figured this would be a disclaimer to put at the beginning of this video. Alright guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to deal with superficial cuts, uh, cleaning them out the proper way of how I like to do it. I have not really had that many infections with just cleaning them out daily. And If you'll notice that right here that it's starting to bleed and everything I like to go ahead and get the entire scab off of the cut that way it has time to breathe and that the, the scab isn't keeping it from healing you take off the scab completely and it bleeds that is also it in the healing process so that it's getting oxygen in there I use Vetrosin Plus because it's a great wound care medicine, especially for open cuts like this. Um, I use this, I've been using it, it the whole time that she had her foot cut. And when Sese had gotten her butt bit by Foxy and it made a big gash in her butt, that I would spray that in there. And I got antibiotics from a vet also. So, but this I have not used antibiotics on. It's very, it's a very minor cut. It's only been a week that she's had this. So she it's healing up very nicely. All right, so after being off, I have not been on sunny in forever. Again, it's been a couple weeks, so, and I can't get on Foxy right now, and Sunny's good to ride right now. So me and him are just taking a nice little ride around the field, uh, bareback. All I have on him is the rope halter and lead rope, a mule tape halter and lead rope. So this is, this is what I like to do in my downtime, just de-stress, just me and him, no distractions. It's all I want. It's all I want in life. He, him's a good boy. So this is our third lap around the field. And whoop, I guess it's a potty break. So 
last week, well, it was like Friday night, no, Thursday night, Thursday night, uh, I was working with Sezzy, well, I wasn't really working with her, I just tilled up the brow pattern, and she loves to roll around in the dirt, so I was like, okay, she hasn't done this since last year when I tilled up the barrel pattern, uh, when she was just a baby, so, uh, I was able to tilt up the barrel pattern after all of the rain that we've been getting, and we just got some more today, so my barrel pattern's all wet, but that's besides the point, anyway, it was nice and dry, it was all dusty and everything, and she just wanted to go roll, so, I took her out there, let her play around, let her roll, and she's just up and down, up and down, and then this happened. My goodness, Seze. This is gonna be an issue when you start barrel racing. <laughs> oh my goodness, Seze. I killed her. Are you having fun? <laughs> so my update, which I'm filming this on Monday, and my update for my arm is it's pretty bruised. It just bruised up. And I got a little, it didn't bruise up till this morning actually, so I guess that's a good sign. I mean, I don't know, it hasn't really been looking too terribly awful this this past weekend uh so but it, yeah you've seen the pictures it was really big i'm so glad that i didn't break it because i do not i cannot afford uh hospital bills right now which i guess that's not the best idea to have a baby <laughs> but uh so yeah that's healed up i am about to get a round pin i have had a round pin on rain check for about two weeks now so i think i gotta wait another week or two for it to come in so hopefully that comes in soon that way i could get seze in there because she definitely needs some ground manners in the summertime i like to bring sunny and them to come swimming in here but uh let them play in the water but it's uh needs to fill up a little bit more and I think we got a snake or two in there that I gotta take care of first so Okay, guys, I hope that y'all enjoyed watching this. Zenny likes looking at himself on camera. Huh. I'm pretty. Yeah. Say no, dear friend. But uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, this vlog's a little bit more of helping, like, with tips and stuff to how to clean out cuts. Uh, so, who knows what the next one will hold. We're not going to be... We're not going to be racing for a couple more weeks. Um, I'm hoping that we can get out and get something maybe after 4th of July. It's too close now. I don't really have a horse that's ready to be rode for 4th of July weekend. So I guess we will see what happens about middle of July. Middle of July. You ready to start running again? Huh? Yeah, you ready to start running again? I'm just ham. All right, well. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, comment down below, which I would like to see. More it's any, probably. But, uh, yeah. So, I will see y'all probably next week. You want to give everybody a kiss? Kiss? Come on, give me a kiss.